the bridge. So yeah, there'll be yeah, another one moment. Though. You guys keep mm -hmm. getting cut off a lot, so I'm still. I haven't heard anything from. I was wondering. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, should we, well, should we Yeah. I was wondering. Will there be another festival next year? You mean Midsummer? It's an annual celebration, so yeah, there'll be another festival. Though, with the way things are going, I expect it'll keep getting smaller and smaller in scale. Why do you ask? Morgana? I would not be opposed to going again next time. But don't think you have to if you don't want to. I don't. Well, alright. Would it be presumptuous for me to seem to enjoy yourself then? I can't say I especially did, no. I don't get it. Why are you saying you'll go next year if you had a bad time this year? Because I get the feeling that might change with time. Really? Yes. Alright. Then I'll remind you when the time comes. Next year, the year after, and every year after that. You do that. So hey, are you still planning to head out on your own when you get older? I am, yes. So nothing's changed there, huh? All I do there is take up space. That's... That's not your reason for wanting to leave, is it? You know that's not true. You keep the place clean and cook for the girls and do plenty else to help out. If anything, I say you only take up a space far less than other kids your age. When I was younger, I did so much more to help so many others. I may as well be lazing around and doing nothing compared to what I was once able to accomplish. You know, I've avoided asking this question for a while, but... What was your life like before you ended up here? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I am... the daughter of... Hmm? Morgana? Why can I not bring myself to say that I am the daughter of God? That I am a saint, that I am not like the rest of you. That my blood has miraculous powers. It's all the truth, so why? Why do I so fear acknowledging that I am not one of them? I, I, I am the daughter of the church. And I helped spread the word of God. I assume it was something like that. Did you grow up in a church then? Something of the sort. Hmm. Well, the past is the past. What you did then, what you could do then, isn't necessarily what you have to do now. As far as I'm concerned, you're more than pulling your weight. If you don't want to say at the brothel, that's one thing, but don't feel, like, don't feel like you're not contributing enough. Tell me. What? Tell me about when you were younger. Why? Or don't. You don't have to. I never said I wouldn't. I'm just surprised to see you showing any interest in me. Today's just full of surprises. I think I mentioned why I don't remember much about my childhood. I have vague memories of how the language sounded. As well as waterfalls stretching as far as the eye can see. 
I love just sitting and watching as it swayed back and forth in the wind, like waves in an ocean of wool. I assume my parents were there with me, though I can't say for sure. Just remember, I just remember they were pleasant days. I don't remember where I was born, or what it was called, only that it was somewhere far from here. How did you end up in this city? Do you, Do you really you? not remember? I... I assume I was sold off. I found an opportunity and managed to escape, running and running and running for who knows how many days, until finally a city came into view. And into the slums I went. I only have scattered fragments of memories of that time. I assume it was so unpleasant I might shoot it all out. I thought family were supposed to be those who wouldn't throw you out of, onto the streets. Huh? That's what Maria said. Oh yeah, she did, didn't she? Not every family is the same. Some will, some won't. My guess is that they were financially unable to keep me. But you know, nothing says you have to be blood related to be family. Maybe the first one throws you out, doesn't mean you can go and find yourself a new one. What happens next? What? In your story, what happens next? Oh, you want me to keep going? I was kind of hoping you'd gotten bored. <laughs> but alright. Living in the slums, surviving day to day was my first priority. I was too young to get any real work, so I became a thief. Heathen. Shall I born in hell? Yes. I bet I'm completely irredeemable in your eyes. I've stolen, lied and deceived, and even... killed people. Huh? I killed several guards in the slavery world. And that wasn't the first time, either. Even as a child, my hands were not free of blood. You are a sinner. A vile, wretched, miserable sinner. That I am. Burn in hell. I'm sure I will, once I'm dead. When you were younger, why did you kill? Maria told you about what the brothel used to be like, right? A real rundown, and smaller than it is now. She has, yes. This isn't exactly the safest neighborhood now, and back then it was even worse. Our gang hadn't formed up yet, so naturally we weren't doing peacekeeping work either. One day... Back when Maria was 12 and I was 14, a thief broke into the brothel. He... he attempted to rape her. As I watched the man knock her down, climb up top of her, my blood boiled. All I could think about was getting him off her. And so I killed him. It was the first time I had ever taken someone's life. I was shaking from head to toe for... I don't even know how long. I could never imagine that happening to Maria. She's a tough woman, absolutely. And I wouldn't be surprised if she was calmer than me. But she was still only 12 at the time. Right about your age, in fact. As strong as she may have been. She couldn't possibly have overpowered a full-grown man. The only reason I didn't end up dead is because I attacked him from behind while he was distracted. I understand good and well that murder is wrong, but sometimes it's your them. And well, if you don't have the strength to kick back, the war will trample all over you until there's nothing left. 
I don't want to spend my life in constant servility. Hey, having everything taken away from me, always on the losing side. I'm tired of being on the bottom. I want to climb higher. <laughs> I knew it. You hear that, Gratia? You're about to get topped. <laughs> I want to climb higher. High enough to look out upon the to where? High enough to look out upon the whole wild world. I see. And is that the same world you say you want to go out into? It is. In the world, you keep saying you want to show me. It absolutely is. I see. That's not the world I want to see, though. But I have no right to trample on his dreams. Well, I hope you make it someday. As do I. How far is Jacob? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. See that building up ahead? I only want the second floor. Not the most comfortable place in the world, but it's a place to sleep and a roof over my head. Shows your face until you're feeling a little better. And don't worry, I'll sleep on the floor. You can have the bed. So, yeah. Take as much time as you... Morgana? Sleep? <laughs> oh, for the love of God! It's a good that much for that. Oh well. Once I've got her tucked in, I should get some sleep myself. You know, I kind of feel like I finally closed some of the gap between us, and I can only hope you feel the same. Sleep well, Morgana. And may you be free from your nightmares forever. She immediately has a nightmare and then punches him in the face. <laughs> Close your eyes and think of Jaren. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oof. Morning already. Or is it the afternoon? Either way, it's about time I got up. My breath hurts like hell. Wait. My... Oh, right. I step on the floor and. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fair la, enough. La, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Cook. <laughs> Gracias, I didn't know you came over. <laughs> There was something oddly revitalizing about the sunlight shining and shining in through the open window. And the summer breeze lacked its usual sizzling heat. In fact, feeling quite pleasant against my cheeks. A pair of long, burgundy braids stands gently in the wind. Ah. Uh, Lighting against the windows when I sing it was a young girl. Beads of light streaming down over her small, robe body. I find myself staring, entranced by the sight. The ground where she stood seemed almost sacred, like it would be forever tainted if I set foot in it. The sound of her voice washed over me like a wave and seeped into my half-sleep body, permeating every fiber of my being. In the spell of Amal. Big words. An indescribable am amalgam. Amalgam of feelings welled up in my breast. It was a feeling similar to the first time I had heard her thing. Only incomparably more profound.
You still there? Hello? Now I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, both of you completely cut off. <laughs> that's so Damn. weird. Yeah, that's that's. I All don't right, know, that's where weird. did where did you uh leave off hearing Akime? Uh, she needs to start from it. Took everything I had to keep the fire. Oh, that's not much. Uh, um, it took everything I had to keep the fire from appearing on my face, or spilling from my lips. I simply sat there in silence, taking in the sight and sound, when she slowly turned to face me, the sunlight now illuminating her silhouette. Hold up, I gotta punch my keyboard a bunch. I fucking knew this was gonna happen, because it's psychosomatic bullshittery, but I'm angry. Tagada, tagada, tagada. <laughs> Scream. <sighs> oh, I thought you were still asleep. This definitely is a different Yakopo. What, what, what did they do to him? This is not a same Yakopo at all. <laughs> no, this is some like some weird alternate timeline <laughs> shit. I, that's what I've been thinking. The more we play this, is like, is this supposed to be an AU? This is really not folding the gap here. Or yeah. covering the gap. Yeah, but now that we're getting this weird dream sequence, it's like, ah, there it goes. <laughs> I don't think this is a weird dream sequence. I think this is some fucking plot twist bullcrap. Good mm. morning. Then again, she said good morning instead of burn in hell, so... <laughs> yeah. Morgana, your, your face. What of it? I know her angry face, though. <laughs> In a half frenzy, I scrambled over to the window and grabbed her by the shoulders. Her eyes went away for a moment, but she didn't show me a sight, only stirred. I could see my own reflection in her golden eyes. I love her eyes. Yeah, she's cute. And then, as my eyes grew accustomed to a light... Oh, there we go. Ah, I saw her as she was, face covering the same marks I knew so well. Well, what's wrong? Did you forget I was here? I could only imagine how stupid my face looked in that moment. Yeah, same oh, as <laughs> usual. <laughs> <laughs> Mouth hanging awkwardly half a gape as I attempted a chuckle, on the same managing to make it up and out of my throat. So sorry. Still not all the way awake. Was afraid I had seen a mere illusion. A fantasy conjured up by my mind. Almost certainly. It was nothing more than a figment of my imagination. But I wanted it to be what she looked like when she healed. And I wanted more than ever to finally see it for real. Oh shit. Oh. Hello. Thank you for the raid, Tori. And hello, everyone. <laughs> raid brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome everyone. As with the last raid, doing a quick uh, little warning. This is a visual novel that contains some rather triggering uh, material, uh, not including but not limited oh to God. child abuse, it's psychological it's abuse, uh, torture, murder, cannibalism, bunch of other shit. So if you don't like that, yeah. uh, any just if you know gothic novels. Any theme or trope that you can find in those, it's probably in here. Alright, let's continue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
family friendly. <laughs> family friendly? Of course! <laughs> Here at 4 Pixels, we are family friendly. We have never played yeah. a sad game, ever. ever. We never say the fuck word. <laughs> the fudge word? The fuck word. Oh no, I said it! <laughs> God damn it, Coco! Coco, how could you do this? <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll go on. <clears throat> because I was standing so close, she had to tilt her head back more than usual to see me, resulting in her face, usually concealed by her hood, being exposed to the sunlight. Even covered in grotesque marks, I was close enough to make out the precise outline of her face, the exact shape of her eyes, the perfect straight line of her nose. With each passing moment, that vision began to seem more and more real. I summoned the image of her healed face once more. Standing before me was a girl who could usually pass as a noble, a beauty and dignity to match her impeccable singing voice. Imposing though she was, I was certain her smile would be filled with warmth. Um, is something the matter? Why are you staring at me? Uh, I, I know I'm hideous. You don't have to tell me. So, so get back. Morgana. What? Oh, oh damn god it. fucking shit. Okay, here we go then. I think I might love you. I have a knife. Did you know? It's <laughs> Please. Right <laughs> We're gonna just take out a knife from under her hood. Excuse me? The words came out entirely independent of my own will. <laughs> Sorry, Marco. <laughs> I didn't grasp the meaning of what I had just said. <laughs> Until after I realized her probe was furrowed with perplexity. You're like 50, what the fuck? <laughs> Until after, like a total buffoon, I thought, why is Morgana giving me that look? A chill ran down my spine as I finally began to comprehend the absurdity of what I had said. Uh, uh, um, uh, I mean, I, uh... Not a single excuse came to mind. And my words simply vanished into a thick white fog. And then she just pushing, fucks him, fucking puts him out the fucking window, just shove. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Nikopo. What had I said to her again? What had I said to this little girl? I loved her? Me? In love with a child? Is that so? Why, thank you. You sure don't sound surprised. How can she remain so calm? I'm barely keeping it together here. I don't see why I would be. Mm. You're only telling me what I already know. What? See again? Dream sequence, please. Please, please, please! Sherry and you? How I felt? I didn't even know how I felt. You care for everyone at the brothel. Oh yeah, no, she understood it. She probably understood it as love, as like, family-friendly love. Mm. I fucking wish it was family-friendly <sighs> love, because I'm about to stab Jacopo's in the- in the fucking guts. Yes. Huh? You love all the girls at the brothel like they're your family. It's quite obvious from your actions. Also, I'm gay as fuck, so don't even get any ideas. I suppose it doesn't hurt to put it into words every once in a while. But in any case, you've made your feelings quite clear. You made it clear that I count as one of them. The only thing that's clear here is that you don't understand- you don't understand the first thing about my feelings. Good! Because she's 11! <laughs> yes. No, I meant- Huh? Do I really want to tell her right here, right now, that no, my feelings for her are different? 
Use your damn head, Jacopo. She's 11 years old. And you're 21. Oh, I'm going to murder you. I'm gonna fucking kick your ass. <laughs> what the hell's gotten into you? Yeah, I meant it exactly like that. You took the words right out of my mouth. I see. Well, um, I'll say... It means a lot to me to be seen the same as everyone else. I love what I love when games use like the very small fonts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Morgana. I said nothing. You heard nothing. Okay, Edgeworth. <laughs> Even Edgeworth would be like, uh, lighten up, kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What is happening to me? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Get uh, Edgeworth to prosecute Jacobo. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> and right, like, yeah. immediately throws the defense. <laughs> no, not even that. Larry Butts is the lawyer for Jacopo. <laughs> he uh. got his donut, he thought he could win, and then Edgeworth took them both and put them in the trash. Yes, good. Nothing makes the damnest bit of sense. I'm having a difficult time accepting how take how taken I seem to be with this girl. With this child. Um, I cover my face with my hands, groaning and trying my best not to pay any mind to the pair of perplexed eyes I could feel staring a hole through me. And I thought I have to at least wait until she turns oh, 16. Oh god, I'm not enjoying this at all. It doesn't make that damnedest bit of sense, Jacopo, because the writer strong-armed the other writer into letting you be into an 11-year-old child! I will kill I, you. I missed what that said. Another 11 months passed and something else. Yeah. Yeah, no, I couldn't read. I was like, another... It was very tiny. What? Yeah. No, <laughs> and, the, was... and, the font, and the font didn't help. Time continued to slow, constant march, and soon winter was upon us. The skies were incredibly clear, hardly a cloud inside. By all appearances, the weather was great, until the occasional, occasional gust of wind came along and chilled me to the bone. Each breath came out in a puff of white, dissipating as if drifted upward. Rowing my arms, I made my way to where I knew I would find her. Have you ever wanted to keep a day these last three years? Rain or snow, sweltering heat or bitter cold. She always seems to be here when I come looking. I let out a little sigh, then called for her. I swear. You spend so much time in, his, in this graveyard that one of these days, someone's going to mistake you for a gravekeeper. Or maybe a grave robber. She turned around to face me. She looked moderately annoyed, her glare piercing as ever. I could hear the soft bite of her voice before she even responded. Someone less familiar with her might preserve her mannerism as a standoffish, not unlike she had been when I first brought her here. But I could clearly tell the difference. She was warming up, she was warming up ever so slightly. I can understand a gravekeeper, but I take offense at the suggestion I look like a grave robber. I'm praying for souls who have no one else to see them off. I feel- I'm feeling deja vu here. <laughs> yeah. She was no longer walking on eggshells through every interaction. And her sense of self-worth seemed to have improved as well. I would even go so far as to say she could get a bit cocky at times. Generally at my expense. But that also meant I didn't have to tread quite so carefully around her either. But that also meant uh, that uh, trade 
Defending grievances, I and Slots was becoming our personal kind of banter. Rather than signifying a widening rift, the increased level of abuse was a sign of how much closer we'd gotten. Honestly, I don't get it. Why do you care so much? We've had this fucking conversation like 300,000 times, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, they did. Yakopo, I know you're a fucking club, but these souls, <laughs> these are souls that have no one else to pray for them. You know, like they're alone. At best, they may get a bit of lip service from a priest once or twice. <laughs> Marco clips. <laughs> this feels bad, gross, and icky. <laughs> But I'm M, I can't read the rest of the fucking clip name, <laughs> damn it. Would Moon say truth? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, good. Yay. It's our responsibility to offer a helping hand to the sick and the poor. To pray for the abandoned souls. Also, she has grown, like, absolutely nothing in, like, three years. Yeah, she's same sprite. <laughs> oh boy, here comes another sermon. What I don't get is why you need to pray for the dead at all. They're just bags of bones. I hope you enjoy an eternity in hell, Blasphemer. Hey, that wasn't called what called for. <laughs> I'm choking, obviously. Oh, look at that green. <laughs> She's cute. <laughs> you take back humor to a new level. The fact that she would even call such remarks a joke was proof enough of how far she had come. This wasn't the first time I had told her I thought the living were more important than the dead, and we still disagreed on that point. Then why do you keep bringing it up? But her differences in values had caused her to push away much harder before than she did now. At least, I was pretty sure she wasn't pushing me away as much. Hey, stop moving in on her, please. Back up about six feet. We're social distancing here. Exactly, yeah. Hey, it's that time again, Morgana. It's that time for you to go the fuck away? Come on, don't turn away from me. I'm turning away from you because you're gross. <laughs> New Monica. Oh no. And exactly 194 days. <sighs> I know you can hear me. I brought ointment, so let me put it on you. It's... Are we in... It is this deja vu? Yeah. Ugh, it's a waste of time, you fucking pleb. You don't know that. Your arms look much better than before. It won't be long before your face starts healing too. You look like a pog champ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> Ointment isn't free. You're wasting your money. It's my money. I can use it however I please. So just shut up and let me do this. You're a very obnoxious man, you know. What was that? You want me to rub it in real hard, do you? Fine. I put well, poison might... in the ointment. <laughs> Well, it may appear I wanted something in return for my efforts. I wasn't in it for grat gratitude or a reward. It was more like my way of retali retaliating. She badmouthed me and made her take my ointment. <laughs> Welcome, Aisha. We had performed this ritual hundreds of times now, though the exact shape of the exchange slowly evolved over time. Ugh, why do you have to say that, Moon? <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm fucking pissed off right now. <laughs> fucking Hokopo. Fucking asshole. Why'd they have to make him a hot sprite when he's so fucking gross? <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> ah, damn it. Where I will once desperately attempt to shoot down her assertions of wasting your time and there's no point. I had come to realize that doing so only put unnecessary stress on her. So I started jabbing back instead. And for her complaining, I was pretty sure Morgana wasn't entirely put up by my stubborn insistence. The day after the festival, when I had declared my intent to keep trying to heal her face, she had responded with, I won't stop complaining either. And I had said, I'll have to practice not letting it get under my skin as much then. 
I still remember that day quite vividly, and I hoped she did as well. So while it might come off like we were genuinely fighting, in reality, I quite enjoyed our little sparring matches. She was still outwardly reticent and sulky as ever, but in a kind of charming way, now that we had established this routine. Not having to be so painfully careful with my war made things easier for me as well. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Oh, nothing. Hey, don't you give me that dead glare of yours. You think this is me glaring? I've been meaning to ask you something. I know what will that be. What are you helping to get out of repairing my face? I'm not trying to get anything. I just want you to heal up. Okay, am I nuts? Guys, am I nuts? <laughs> no, you're not. What? Okay. This is the ex this is basically the exact same conversation they had the last time they were at the graveyard <laughs> mm -hmm. like what the fuck and here i thought you were going to try and make me work at the brothel how many times do i have to tell you i'm not going to make you be a prostitute what other reason could you have for wanting my face to get better because i want to see it isn't that enough Gun emoji. Just to work clear, uh, that wasn't me hitting on you, okay? The thought never occurred to me. I hope you're prepared to be let down if I ever do heal. Thank you, Scott, for that interjection. <laughs> Four Thank pixels you, Scott. Green. Four Thank pixel you. stream, burp stream. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Scott, for your valuable opinion on this matter. <laughs> mm -hmm. In fact, you would best not get your hopes up at all. The higher you let your expectations climb, the greater your disappointment will be when I turn out to be equally hideous beneath these scars. Not even I can remember what I looked like before. I'm not afraid to be disappointed. That possibility is just part of the fun. You have as much tact as a worm. Eh. Uh, could be worse. Could, uh. Hmm. Or rats. <sighs> Boobs are like rats. Squeezing <laughs> rats. No tact and a preference for ugly girls, I'm told. Knife emoji. I'm a real winner. Uh, uh, ugly girl. It's a wonder no one throttles you in your sleep. <laughs> they go squeak. <laughs> they go squeak. <laughs> Mine go more squawk. <laughs> I'll still be tails, Coco. <laughs> I'll still be your friend, even if you turn out to be the ugliest girl in this city. You should be grateful. You're unbelievable. And to think I was used to- <laughs> Oh wait, wait, hold on. And to think I used to think you were a half-decent man. I don't think you ever thought that, honey. <laughs> if you'd like me to go back to walking on thin ice, I can. But my gut tells me that's not what you really want. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, Aisha. <laughs> Take notes, everyone. <laughs> keep your rats tuned. <laughs> There's a difference between not sugarcoating your words and being outright rude, you realize. Yeah, you are one to talk. How is it you haven't managed to chase off everyone in your life yet? 
I act like a decent guy around other people. Do my best to fit in. And why are you such a dolt around me? It's a pit So you're saying this is my fault? Everyone could use a thorn or two, makes it more exciting. You especially. Okay, that should be everything. Does this thing anywhere? Not particularly, no. Alright. Oh, also, finish up here and get back to the brothel soon. Unless you'd rather I drag you there. Why? Seriously? It's your damn birthday, that's why. And? What do you think, Dimwit? Maria and the girls want to celebrate. Get back there soon, okay? I'm planning to drop by too. Okay. Okay. As much as I'm loath to admit it. She can be kind of cute when she's not wishing me an eternity in hell. Mmm. Not that I'm not that I'm bleh, not that I'm ever letting those words in my lips. So hey, uh I thought you were leaving. One day, I'll show you the world. One day, I'll gut you. Sometimes, I wonder if that's the only phrase you know. Yes, I heard you the first hundred times. I won't get my hopes up. And she thinks I don't show our code my words? Get your hopes up, damn it. Anyway, I'll see you later. Hey, uh... I'm remembering something. Doesn't something bad happen on Morgana's birthday? Yep. On her 12th birthday. Uh, oh, okay. I need a drink. Hold on. <sighs> Wait, on her, on her 12th birthday? Yep. Oh, yeah, right. <sighs> oh, should I keep it going in the meanwhile, or... Um... Should we wait for one? Let's wait. I wanna actually okay. see if I can look something up real quick. Okay. Go I need on. a drink because if I'm gonna be doing crying voice, I need uh, my throat not to be really dry. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. If only so... I could have alcohol. Okay, so did you get your drink or? Yep, I got my drink. Oh, okay. I had every intention of making good on that promise. And I had more than enough reason to believe I could. Though admittedly, it wasn't until recently that I could say so with such confidence. It was no longer a mere slam rat's fantasy. My ranks were getting stronger by the day. Discontent with the Lord was up, but overall, so was our morale. I could feel it. The time was near. But the biggest motivating factor lay elsewhere. And something that had occurred about a month earlier. I had yet to share that little nugget with anyone else, though. This could um, be the kid. What oh. he's re what I'm pretty sure he's referring to is that I think at this time is when the former I forget what the details were exactly, but there was like a former servant of the Lord who came to him and said that she was his mother and that the Lord was his father. Like, that turned out to be a hoax. But essentially, they found a way mm. to trick people into thinking that Jacobo did have some noble blood in him. Oh, you're right, I remember. This could be the key to bring it all together. But I need to keep my head in the right place today. It's Morgana's birthday above anything else. Planning this revolution can wait another day. I was probably a bit too eager to get started. My judgment clouded by anticipation. The very thought that I could soon be someone of real significance. And that excitement had probably leaked a bit into my conversation with Morgana. If only... If only I had understood. I had truly grasped the extent of my own capabilities where I should have been focusing my effort. 
then perhaps we could have ended up on a very different path. But it will not be until much, much later that I came to realize the error of my ways. About time you showed up. Get in here and give us a hand, would you? I was engulfed in the scent of roasting meat as soon as I stepped through the back door of the brothel. It smelled like it had even been seasoned with herbs, kicking my appetite into high gear. For the common man, culinary herbs were a delicacy, expensive and not something you could get your hands on easily. And that went double so for us in the slums. This is much more elaborate than I was expecting. How did you even get all the supplies you needed? It's mostly a mishmash of everybody's rainy day funds. Oh my god, you guys are so cute. Yes. Um, events like this are about the only way I can convince the girls to let loose. Everyone's also concerned about making sure they've always got plenty saved up, which ain't a bad thing in itself, but they're gonna end up stressing themselves straight to the grave. I smirked. Maria's heart was always with the girls. Obviously, I love the... her so much. Yes. <laughs> Obviously, the party was still for Morgana, but parties were meant to be enjoyed by everyone involved, not only the star. It would have been even better if we could have given all the girls tonight off and partied till we dropped. But unfortunately, business isn't strong enough to afford that. I'd rather not deal with a bunch of blue balled buffoons bitching at me about it either. So all the girls who couldn't take off are getting an extra slice of meat to make up for it. <laughs> You're on cutting duty. Make sure to cut them exactly the same size. Don't want anyone blowing their top about not getting their fair share. The fate of the party is in your hands. Don't fuck this up. Su sudden cutting mini game. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, that would suck. Uh, oh god. Wasn't there suddenly many, like, uh, timed events in, um, the, the haunted game you guys were playing? The fuck is that called? <sighs> With the most annoying blonde man ever. Oh, the letter. Yes, the letter. Yeah, that had QTEs, were... but, like, you know, that yeah. was known from the start. Okay, I wasn't I, sure. I think most of them were fine, except for the elevator one. That was just, that, that was, was too scary. much. <laughs> that was scary. How is she wearing something that loose and cleavage bearing and still be dressed? Glue. <laughs> <laughs> Glue and dreams. <laughs> exactly. Especially dreams. Dreams. Mm -hmm. My dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much. She's so cool. Mm -hmm. I get the feeling I'll be their patching bag no matter how precisely I cut the meat. <laughs> On a somewhat different note, I'm surprised you had her flying around. <laughs> oh yeah, those are... They were a gift from one of my regs. Hello, Jaren. What's up, Jackie? So we'll actually say Perky as ever, I see. That's how you're gonna greet me, you big butt? <laughs> For a particular subset of our customer base, it's <laughs> that relentless perk that keeps them perky. Da 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 da. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a compliment. <laughs> Marco, she's <laughs> Magneto and it's made of magnetic silk. Okay, I buy it. I buy it. Some girls have to pretend to be spunky airheads to keep those guys coming back, but you're a natural. That's impressive as hell. It is? Whee! I've got the big boss seal of approval. Stop being cute, goddammit. I don't think you quite get it, Jaren. You know how Jaren used to work up in the city? Well, one of her old clients followed her when she moved down here. Danger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's the one who gave her the herbs. Not the cheapo bottom of the barrel stuff either. This is some primo shit. Nice haul, Jaren. <laughs> You're right. 
You don't get this kind of aroma from a low quality plant. It's strong enough, I almost wonder if people outside can smell it. Oh god, I wonder if that's what brought the bandits. Oh, you know what? That would... Mm -hmm. I bet we'll have at least a few customers drawn in thinking we're in... <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thinking they were craving pussy only to find out they were really hungry. <laughs> Someone needs to get this woman a damn filter. No. <laughs> no. I'm wonderful the way I am. <laughs> yes. I really hope Morgs likes it. I know she used to hate even the sight of me, but it seems like she's kind of gotten over that recently... ish. People do change over time, so maybe she could be fine. Maybe she has some kind of traumatic meat-related past! Oh, oh, Jaren. And now oh, she's Jaren. just now overcoming it. <laughs> or something to that effect. Hey, some help with these dishes would be real nice. Ooh, pick me! I'll do it! Alright, Jackie. See you in a bit. It sure didn't take long for her to make this place her home. Make it sound like it's a bad thing. What, do you not want to hear something? Because, personally, I'm doing everything I can to make everyone here feel at home. No, I never said- <laughs> Why so serious? It was just a joke. I agree with you entirely. A girl like her doesn't belong in a whorehouse. No, she doesn't. Not... Oh, God. Uh, not quite a burn victim. It's... At first it began as some sort of blood infection, I would think. But the scars are implied to be remaining more as sort of a... Effect of psychological trauma rather than her still having any sort of actual scar or, or disease or anything like that. It's supposedly psychosomatic. Yeah. Which is one of the most, like, stretchiest stretches in a fantasy game. Yeah. But, I mean, this game also has spirits and magic and whatnot. Like I said. <laughs> yeah. It feels like the stretchiest stretch in a fantasy game. <laughs> a while back, I had to just sit and look into some other line of work to take up singing instead of prostitution. On her days off, she still went to the pub and performed, always to great acclaim. And while it seemed she had seriously considered my proposition, a few days later she said, Hmm, I think I'd rather stick around at the brothel for a while. You and Maria treat me like family. And I want to be with my family for now, you know? Aww. If that's what she wants, that's her choice. I have no right to force what I think is best on her. So, question. Yeah? Have you decided what you're gonna give her? I, I haven't the faintest idea what you're referring to. <laughs> Bullshit, I know, you know, I know you know I know. Why does she have to be so damn astute? Or is it just that obvious? You're so fucking obvious. I hadn't spoken about my feelings for Morgana with anyone since I realized I had them. Not even Maria, my closest friend. But she had a way of seeing right through me. And while she often poked fun at me about the age difference, she never actually mocked me. Not seriously, at least. She should she do should more than mock. Me. She should also, like, castrate you, throw you out, get you out of her friend group, get a new friend. <laughs> yeah. Though she did avoid bringing it up when Jaren was around out of, respect, out of respect for her feelings. 
Pretty much all the other girls seem to have picked up on it, so Jiren likely had as well. Then again, it was Jiren, so it was equally likely she had an inkling. After one particularly extensive round of teasing, Maria had gone on to say, In the end, all that really matters is that you're happy. Maria, this is your worst take yet. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure, I'll feel bad for Jaren. But ultimately, me and you, we've been to hell and back together. If I have to pick one for you, pick one of you, it'll be you. <laughs> if I have to pick one wow. for you, uh, I'd throw you in the river. <laughs> and yeah, I know. Cheesy as fuck. You don't have to tell me. But hey, there's still a chance Morgana will give you the most brutal rejection of all time. And I'm hoping so, because you need to learn your fucking boundaries. Hell, I'd call her that one... <laughs> I'd call that one more likely than the alternative. <laughs> you know, like, all this thing is so weird to me, especially because... Like, even, even in the context of the time of the game, they still acknowledge that it's super weird, so I'm like... Yeah. Okay, yeah. so... Okay, yeah. so... Because, like, it'll be, I mean, for me at least, it'll be different if in the game, if, like, in the game universe, like, it'll still be weird, but, like, at least if in the game universe it's, like, not so weird, it's, like, Like, taking okay. into the, like, time period this takes place in, even though yeah. in reality that still technically wasn't true, with what people typically think... Yeah, you know, it would make sense if these people didn't find that weird, but they do. But they do, that's the thing! <laughs> yeah. But, uh... That was her way of showing support. Oh. Oh, fuck. Uh, I bad got look, it. Bad look. Yeah, no, you said I went to, I went to scroll on the chat, but I, I had the game selector again, so like, it's, it's keep it keeps us alive. So what do you better? As your yeah. big sister, I'd be happy to check out the present before you give it to her. Make sure you don't make too big of an ass out of yourself. The age difference yeah. is, itself is 10 years, but the problem is that Morgana is, at the time that he supposedly fell in love with her, 11. So, like, if it had been, like, he was 21 and he was 31, it's like, okay, that's okay. Like, my parents are 10 years apart. It's just the fact yeah. that she's still... A she's a child yeah. when he decides he likes her. It's not, she's an adult, and he's, like, suddenly seeing her in the light of, oh, this isn't another adult I could have a relationship with. He sees a child and says, yeah, I fuck that. Gross. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a thing because I mean it'll be different. I mean, going by the time period, it'll be different if it had happened maybe after she turned like sixteen or so. But no, it's when she was eleven. <laughs> so like, um, like you can be ten years apart, but it really depends on the time for which you get together because yeah. then there's some sus shit going on uh, yeah. for the older one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going back to... <clears throat> again, I'm older than you. And again, we're not related. Okay, it went back in, and uh, Kime's computer freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I don't really know why, either, because it's like, it said it says something like, check the backlog. I don't know what it's grabbing. Like, because it's like, straight. It's weird. Because oh, especially since Kime was uh, doing... I, I still don't see anything. It was doing the desktop. What? What's going on? Discord, don't do this to me now. Discord, please. Discord, I ask one thing of you. Yeah, the ancient Greeks don't count because they they were doing shit bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> they were doing shit bad. <laughs> Moon 2020. Yeah, they, literally, though. <laughs> <laughs> wrong i'm not disagreeing with you i'm just laughing at the no, wording I know you're not disagreeing, but i'm just i'm i'm fortifying my my feelings there it's like <laughs> pederasty wrong it's pedophilia stop being fucking gross ew <laughs> fuck you all old greco fucking shit 
Anyway, can you see now? Alright, I can see now, yes. Yeah. Mm. I bought a necklace, as per your suggestion. Girls appreciate that sort of thing, don't they? Eh, most do. Me? I got a taste for knives and other such pointy things. Also Hi, me. Maria. Like, I love Hi, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt she has much interest in those, though. Are you sure about that? I, f I fucking think if you give a girl a knife, you're gonna have a happy girl. <laughs> yes. Sometimes I wonder if you're actually a girl. Excuse you? Who's the last guy you saw with tits like these? <laughs> oh, Gratien. <laughs> I'm pretty damn smoking if I do say so myself. Yes, I should have sang it. Agreed. <laughs> mm hmm. You telling me this body don't let a fire in your loins? Not even a spark. I've grown so accustomed to seeing you over the years, you don't even register in that part of my brain. Okay, to be fair, I was gonna say, uh, something along the lines of, I don't know, you could have to be flatter for that, because I'm feeling really salty right now. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Maria says it. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Is that how it works? You spend so much time with someone, you go numb? Would you rather I did find you arousing? Well, I mean you'd be into adults, Jesus. So yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Look, I can take out my titties for you and bounce them around, like, does that do anything for you? Come on. <laughs> Look me in the eyes, Akopo. Look me in the fucking eyes. Hakopo's just like slowly turning and then walking to stand in the corner with his face in the corner. <laughs> just, <laughs> can't take it anymore. Hell no. You you so much lay this finger on me and I'll make sure you never get it up again. Don't bring up the subject. I'm going to choose to believe she means I won't get up on my feet again. Oh no, yeah. I'll take dick off. <laughs> mm -mm. So So Today's the day, right? <sighs> Maria, stop! <laughs> this is playing out like what happened in the the main game, and I'm I'm not happy to hear this all again. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure there was a. I this does seem familiar, so I think there was a scene like this in the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there was one. There, this was like one of I think the like the initial scenes we see of the two of them before we like really get into the meat of what Morgana's past was like and it's like she because I remember cringing about Yakopo being into Morgana <sighs> you give her the present then you'll tell her how you really feel because I'm for some reason standing a pedophile here excuse me why would I don't be a wuss please be a wuss please be a wuss it's about damn time you manned up and, t and told her. I almost said that manned up and I told her. <laughs> Maria cut you off at the pass. I think you've got a better chance than you think. Oh, God, stop! Maria, what? Do, do I need to remind you how old she is? Twelve, as of today. No. Nope, I'm not even saying the words. Uh, yes, here's that infamous line. Yeah. No! Oh, yeah. no! No! Yeah, yeah, I remember this line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> I'm not saying that! No! <laughs> You're comparing her to you? <sighs> the longer you hold off saying something, the more difficult it becomes. Yeah, and it should probably be st stay between the two of you, because frankly, don't fucking say that. <laughs> Break a leg and a dick. Your third leg. <laughs> Your third leg. Party's gonna be in the back, so there won't be any customers around to interfere. Welcome back, Mnemonica. It's because they, the writer who who is in love with the idea of Yakopo fucking an, a twelve-year-old girl, um, is writing the scene and making Maria extremely out of character. So I'm screaming and crying. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. Anywho, I've got decorations to put up. 
You get going, meat boy. <laughs> We're waiting until she turns 16. I'm really putting it off for too long. How would I even go about saying it, assuming I actually did? Even if your face still isn't healing in four years, I'll take just my lifetime partner, Morgana. God, no, that's terrible. There has to be a better way to put it. So much for a nice, relaxing birthday party. Morgana arrived as the sun was beginning to set and our preparations near completion. Myself, Maria, Jaren, and a handful of other girls who didn't have to work were gathered in the back room. Dishes stacked with food lined the floor, and our group sat in a circle around it. Several different conversations going on at once. I apologize for not being able to assist in any way. <laughs> Don't apologize, it's your birthday! Take your little bum down and let the world revolve around you for once. If you insist, had a girl hop on right down on the friggin' corner. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Hey, Morgana. There's space next to me. No, there's not. It's a much better spot than over there in the corner. You have easy access to anything you'd like to eat. Though I suppose if you wanted, I could get your food for you. I'll sit next to Maria. <laughs> yes, good. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think I didn't hear that. Winky face. <laughs> hey there, Morgs! How's the drink? Your head spinning yet? It most certainly is not. Well, let's make it spin. Let's make the whole world spin. Wee! Darren, what did you drink? Mm, water. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm guessing. Wine is only to be used for nourishment. It is not meant for base recreation. You shall be sm smitten, <laughs> really. Smitten down from above if... It's fine, don't worry. Even God's taking the day off to get wasted out of his mind. Oh my. <laughs> How dare you disrespect the Lord like that! <laughs> eat! Drink! Drink! Eat! 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 Drink! Wait! I can't! <laughs> I almost said something really dumb. <laughs> oh? Uh, my brain just was like, Jaren... Jer Jer takes like a huge swig of, of wine and then like does the kiss maneuver on Morgana. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be terrible though. <laughs> I'm in heaven. My stomach's in heaven. Hmm. Steak. Well, she's, Rape. <laughs> she's sound asleep. Girl acts like it's her birthday we're celebrating here. What do you guys say? Want me to give her a good whack upside the head? No, it's fine. Let her sleep. She looks so happy. I would almost feel bad waking her. If you say so. You're the one in charge today. So, you and Jaren getting on alright? Huh? It looked like you were trying to keep your distance a little while back. I don't get that impression from you anymore, but if there's any friction at all, don't hesitate to let me know. Hmm. I... Hmm? I'm getting along fine with her now. If anything does come up, I will tell you. Okay. Yes, titty. Yes, titty. It. Very nice titty. The arrow ace titty. <laughs> Well, well, actually, I don't think she confirmed Ace, but definitely Arrow. Uh, well, I'm really glad to hear it. With Jaren, it's, well, what you see is what you get. 
Once you get past that, there's never a dull moment with her. Indeed. Although, it wasn't anything I did that cleared the air between us, but... Oh? Hmm. Never mind. I've been saddled with unnecessary feelings. <laughs> For another woman. <laughs> <laughs> for another woman yes exactly get out of my school <laughs> and this asshole thinks because he's paying that means he can do whatever he feels like and I'm having to tell him to back off and just ugh, I can't believe some of these guys I'm gonna assume this is a different prostitute. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm so sorry. Oh, I've got a good one, too. The other day, this guy came in. Totally shit-faced. Wait, are you serious? Why didn't you tell me about this earlier? I'd have chased the pricks off if I'd known. Go away, Aquila. Go away. Go away. Except, like, anytime you get more than a couple of these years together, conversation inevitably drifts back to work. Which, of course, is the subject Morgana's least keen on. She looked like she wants to run away. <laughs> Guess I've gotta step in. Do you guys think you could maybe change the subject? Like, we have anything else to talk about. Making the birthday girl want to hide in a corner defeats the whole purpose, don't you think? Oh, no, don't mind me. I don't have anything I want to talk about. At least eat something, then. I've eaten plenty, thank you. I'm quite full. Then how about the cookies? They're barely sweet and dry as rocks, but they're edible. <laughs> Jacopo, you little bitch! You've got some stones to shit talk my cookies to my face! Stop it, Maria! Stop throwing things at me! Keep no, going! Keep going! Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> for God's sake, can you not show a modicum of decorum for just one day? The fuck's decorum? Yeah, <laughs> you're totally one to talk! You could try not being a massive dick for once in your life. Name one thing I've done to run this kind of abuse. Oh, gestures to Morgana. <laughs> gestures to everything. You first! You're the one who started throwing accusations. There it is! Right on schedule! You two little lovebirds! Fight! 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 <laughs> we are not, we are not lovebirds! lovebirds. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. You are right about one thing, though. This is Morgana's day, so let's change the subject. Like I said, I don't have anything to talk about. It's so funny, cause sure you like, do. when the whole- when we first started getting Maria and Yakobo's story in the third game, both Kanetsu and I was like, Game, please don't make them an item. Game, please don't make them an item. Game, please don't make this, like, Maria being jealous about the white-haired girl because she wants Jacobo. And when they were like, yeah, no, they're completely platonic, we were both like, oh. but now I'm like, no, please make them an item instead of this alternative. <laughs> I would rather better, that. <laughs> well, better than... Gratian, they're still is sooner. Yes. yes. Gratian, that would be the best Gratian? option. <laughs> that would be the best option indeed. Fan game alternate alternate ending is uh, Gratian uh, and Jacopo at Midsummer uh, like finally hook up and everything is fixed. <laughs> and Jacopo yeah, gets Jacobo to top. was really pretty with the flower. <laughs> <laughs> Fixing the timeline. It's perfect. <laughs> sure you do. You just have to look a little harder. Not saying you have to reminisce for us. It, it can just be anything. Hmm, let's see. Here's an idea. Are there any guys you got your eyes on? <laughs> there is. <laughs> what? 
seriously? Holy shit! Who is it? Tell me, who's the lucky guy? <laughs> Fucking cucked. God. <laughs> God cucked, Yakovo. <laughs> Oh. Okay, but that would mean uh, uh, fucking Morgana has a daddy kink, so gross. Oh god, no- Why? Why, Moon? You could have kept your mouth shut! And everyone would have been so much happier. So raise your hand if you want to expel Moon. Hand raised. <laughs> We're down to three pixels again. No, listen, listen, listen. This is I'm not listening. Funny. This is extra funny. Because Morgana's saying she'd rather hold hands with her dad than Yakobo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know what, folks? We will go ahead and end things right here. Thank you all for coming. I'm so I'm so sorry you had to deal with Yakobo. Hopefully we've gotten through the worst of that. Uh, <laughs> it's trying to uh, yeah, excuse that. Yeah. So, we hope. For the rest of the week, Thursdays and Fridays, Kimei streams. What do you stream and at what time, Kimei? Uh, I stream at our, uh, at 6 p.m. Uh, if there's any schedule change, I, I put it up on Twitter with a, a few hours in advance. And I'll probably finish Amnesia this week just to get that over with. But uh, aside from that, I'm also doing the Stranding on Sola to Robo. Um, sometimes I used to random games. But those are like the story games that I'm like following, continuing. All right, then on Sundays, I, Moon and myself join Tori over at their personal channel at 7 p.m. EST for Hollow Knight. Then on Tuesdays, it is Moon's stream day. What time and what game, Moon? Uh, I have to put up the poll still. Uh, Anarchute is not getting a second uh, stream. Um, so uh, look for a poll on the four pixels that I will put up today uh, for the next uh, Steam Roulette game. And you'll have the uh, until next Tuesday to uh, vote on that. And then we come back here on Wednesdays at 8.30 p.m. EST with more of the House in Fata Morgana. Okay, so I forgot to say the time. It's uh, it's 10.30 EST that my stream would be at. 10.30 p.m. EST on Tuesdays for Moonstream. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, have a good night or day, everyone. Take care. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. You're banned, Moon. Loves God. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs>